You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. I have a good friend of mine, Dr. Amina Pilgrim, who's on the library board with me, library board of trustees. Yes, thank you. But you're here to talk about the exciting new event that's come to Brockton, which, and I'm, am I, gonna, I hope I'm going to say it right, Prova? Prava. Prava. Because mm -hmm. it's Cape Verde. Right. Creole. Right. And what does it mean? Um, Prava is Cape Verdean for proof. Proof. And people are looking for proof in downtown Brockton mm -hmm. that folks are going to come down, be entertained, right. be social, right. right in downtown Brockton, mm -hmm. which until you guys were there looked like a war zone. Right. Bricks were all over the ground and that building, that beautiful Art Deco building that disintegrated, <laughs> unfortunately, right. had to be torn down. But there's exciting new prospects to build on that site. Right. So once you guys do all the stuff this year, the big question is, where is it going to be next year if there's a building there? Right, right. But it's in, now we're in week two, mm -hmm. and it's going all the way through September. when? September. September, mm -hmm. so the end of September. Right. Um, and there is food, different food. types of food. Food. I know Tambu's been there, Italian Kitchen's been there. Right. Who's next? Well, we're looking at a few more local um, restaurants. We want to prioritize um, local restaurants. So we've been talking to Luanda, mm -hmm. um, Vicente's, and you know, a few other places around. Vicente's is a little busy this week because they got the Cape Verdean Festival right, coming right. up, and that is, I you know, seven thousand people that need to be fed. Right. Um, there's a lot of restaurants in Brockton and mm -hmm. right around Brockton, and I know. Um, I think it's Farmer's Market, they had a food truck. We haven't quite gone into food trucks yeah, yet. Yeah, we're Brockton still yet. working on that. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So there is beer from Shoveltown Shovel Town Brewery, Brewery mm -hmm. right in Easton. Yes. So that's local. That's close. Yes. Next yeah. town over. Mm -hmm. um, I think wine is part of the, the there were wineries in They ser um, Shovel Town. Shovel Town oh, serves beer and wine okay. and a few soft drinks for young folks and water. Mm -hmm. um, but the whole idea is to showcase the diversity of the city. Which is so, amazing. We're really very rich about. in diversity, right? Mm -hmm. And so this is an amazing opportunity to show off and prove, like the name says, you know, what Brockton has to offer and disprove, you know, all the naysayers who think that Brockton, you know, gets overlooked. I love Brockton. I'm a big cheerleader for Brockton. Me too. Every once in a while, it gets on my nerves, <laughs> and there are some bad things that happen, but mm -hmm. you bounce back. I mean, I raised my kids here. Mm -hmm. My kids had friends from all cultures, all races. My right. brother lives in Florida, in Miami, and mm -hmm. he speaks fluent Haitian Creole and Spanish. Wow. I never learned anything. I, I, want the, I want the Creole lessons. There's still time. I keep telling everybody. I We're need gonna to know get Haitian you, Creole and Cape Verdean Creole. We're going to get you up to speed. Um, because I, I mean, the music, if you think about all cultures, mm -hmm. music is a similarity. Everybody loves Food. music. Everybody has to eat. Okay. And all sorts of cultural events. I think right. it's great every year that the Cape Verdean Association mm -hmm. decides to recognize Dr. Martin Luther King right. on Martin Luther King Day. Right. Nobody else does that. They right. do all the Martin Luther King Day stuff on a different day. Mm -hmm. Makes no sense to me, mm -hmm. and I had that conversation many a time with Moses, okay? <laughs> um, I love the Haitian culture, the Haitian Flag Day when we do that, mm -hmm. and all the different flag raisings that happen in Brockton. Yeah. So how did you get involved in this? Well, um, George Durante, who's mm -hmm. the lead and uh, Mass Development Fellow, um, he and I met um, about 10 months ago at Elvira's Cafe. Right across the street. Right. And we started talking about Brockton and what he had observed um, over the past two years that he's been here um, doing his fellowship. And in that conversation, we talked about the amazing uh, cultural diversity that's here, but also um, the results of studies that he did, which showed that there needed to be more opportunities to bring diverse cultures together. Um, so through that conversation and a couple more that followed, mm -hmm. um, we talked about some ideas uh, and ways to do that. And one of the ideas came up was to create a, um, a praça, which is a Cape Verdean for like a square, a town square. Mm -hmm. um, praças in Cal Verde are places of un unity, places where everyone goes to meet up and and catch up and you know there might be entertainment there and as you know across the country there's town squares that have been used throughout our history 
um, for similar reasons. So we thought that, you know, this might be the beginning of something. And from there, George brought together a lot of stakeholders and everyone put their heads together to come up with this pop-up. Well, we did, I know they did a pop-up village in Campello last year. Mm -hmm. Lynn Smith did that. That's right. Brockton, because it's a city, never had a common like your towns. Like mm -hmm. I worked in Foxborough for nine years. Mm -hmm. They had the town common. They did right. concerts on the common, right. things like that. We've done stuff in the park. Mm -hmm. We've done stuff at the high school, got the right. baseball stadium, the, right. the Marciano Stadium. Downtown, only thing that was really a downtown event other than the holiday parade was back when I first came to Cable, mm -hmm. there was something called Brocktoberfest. It was like an Oktoberfest and they did like beer. Right. I think we should maybe extend it into October too and do that too. <laughs> maybe <Okay>? we will. <laughs> um, because if you think about that holiday parade, everybody, they're, 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 the people are either in the parade or they're watching it mm -hmm. on the sidelines. All the schools are involved, every, all the cultural organizations, all the nonprofits, mm -hmm. and that's what you're hoping to do. To, to do with this. That's and right. Get get people there. I, I know the mayor loves going to Cape Verde. Okay. That's right. So to have like a similar thing in downtown Brockton, I know that's something that he's been talking about yeah. for years to come. Yeah. You know, years in the past. We we have the City Hall Plaza, but I know the entertainment that's usually at City Hall Plaza for the summer concert series is going to switch to Prova this year. Mm -hmm. Pro, Prava. 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 I'll get it right. Good job. <laughs> um, you get two minutes. They're telling okay. me two minutes. But it's going to, all the different acts are going to be on the Thursday nights mm -hmm. there. Thursday nights, Friday nights. Um, so it and should a be. A couple of Saturdays, I hear. Yeah, a couple of Saturdays. Um, so on each of those nights, a different act will be showcased and. It's an opportunity to, again, show off that diversity that we have. Um, and as you mentioned, there's a lot of businesses and nonprofits that are behind it. Um, the nonprofit that I co-lead with Anita Montero, Sab Sabuda Youth Programs, mm -hmm. I'm wearing my shirt, yeah. um, is uh, you know one of the main backers of the project, along with um, Fuller Craft, Brockton 21st Century, the BRA. Um, and there's a Facebook and page. We have a Facebook page. Um, we're very easily found. If anyone wants information, they can email us. Um, Prava, P-R-O-V-A, Brockton Info at gmail.com. Okay. And just come out and visit us Thursday and Friday from 4 to 9. We added another hour. Go live um, because it's better than seeing it on TV. Yes. We're going to go and, you know, obviously we'll be there for the concert series, but we're going to go and do, I had a, a I have two meetings in a row on two Thursday nights, so I can't do it. But okay. Friday's always there. All right. And hopefully Mother Nature will cooperate and yes. we won't get rained on. Yes. And there's a play area for kids, so families are, are welcome. It's a family-friendly space. So we hope people will come out. And I'm sure when they do, they'll agree that it's a great vibe and it's a great opportunity for the city. And if you're involved, it's a good thing. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here. Thank always you a for pleasure. having me. Always a pleasure. <laughs> If you're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.